Welcome back to Play the Game HQ. I'm Daniel, and in this video, we're going to teach you how to play Kapow, the comic book inspired dice building game published by Wise Word Games, who helped sponsor this video. Kapow is a classic battle of good versus evil where heroes and villains will be rolling and assigning dice to activate their abilities. But in Kapow, players can build, customize, and modify their dice to match their battle strategy. There's two kinds of dice in the game. You have the trait dice and action dice. The trait dice come in five different colors with different strengths based on their colors. And the action dice are blank dice that can have different faces added to them. And you'll gain access to new dice and additional faces by activating abilities during battle. Kapow is primarily designed for a 1v1 head-to-head -head battle, but there's also additional rules for 2v2 and for solo play. To set up the game, each player chooses their role and takes the matching player board, player screen, and health tracker. Character boards can be added once you're comfortable with the basic rules, and we'll explain how to use those at the end of the video. Each player sets their health tracker to 20, then both players take one of each color trait dice and one blank action dice with a single white wild face. Put the rest of the dice and faces next to the play area, pick a first player, and you're ready to get started. Now the game is played over rounds, and to start the round, both players are gonna put up their screens. Now in an actual game, you leave your screens up the entire time you're assigning your dice, but I'm gonna leave mine down so that you can see what I'm doing. So at the same time, both players will roll and assign their dice to their player boards, including blank action dice. Each section of the player board has different types of actions you can take. You can attack, defend, or power up and improve your dice pool. Each action shows the dice required to activate it, and you must match all of the dice shown to use that ability. If it says any dice, that's literally any dice showing any face, and that's including empty action dice. The attack and defend columns on your player board have three sections. You have the base ability, the kickers that add strength, and multipliers that multiply your base plus any kickers. And we'll go over calculating your total attack and defense in just a minute. The right side of your board has instant abilities. As soon as you assign dice to an instant ability, announce the ability, then use it immediately. Time Jump lets you re-roll any other single dice from your pool, which you can do twice per turn. And Quick Breath lets you gain three health, but you can never go above your starting health. Power Ups lets you improve your dice pool by either adding more dice or adding more faces for your action dice. And the after power up abilities happen at the end of the turn, some of them in direct response to something your opponent did that round. After both players have rolled and assigned their dice, it's time to put down your player screens and battle. In turn order, each player will have the chance to attack the other player. To calculate your attack, start with your base attack. If you don't have a base attack, then any kickers and multipliers are ignored and you can only use one base attack per round. Next, add any kickers that you activated. Then if you activated a multiplier, add together your base attack and all of your kickers and multiply that total by your multiplier. So in this example, we have a base attack of one, an attack kicker of two, and a multiplier that adds an additional two kicker, bringing the total to five, and then multiplies that by two for an attack total of 10. Defense is calculated the same way. Base ability plus kickers times multipliers. And when you calculate your defense, you also gain any dice faces you earned and add them to your pool. So our villain here would gain a non-wild face and a non-wild face and add them to their pool to add to their dice later in the round. Compare the first player's attack with the other player's defense value. If the defense is greater than the attack, then the attack is blocked. But if the attack is greater, the defender loses health equal to the total attack minus any defense. So if we take our sample attack of 10 from earlier and subtract this defense of four, a base of two plus a two kicker, then the defender would lose six health. If either player's health is ever reduced to zero, the game ends immediately, even if both players haven't had the chance to attack. After everyone has had a chance to attack, any players who haven't defended yet resolve their defense abilities and gain any dice faces they earned. Then the player who had the highest defense total this round takes the first player token. Next, in turn order, starting with the player who just earned the first player token, each player triggers any power-up and during power-up abilities and adds any earned dice and faces to their pool. Then after power-up abilities are triggered, also in turn order. And finally, clean up for the next round. Remove all of the dice from your boards and then players can make any changes they want to their action dice. You can freely swap or rearrange any dice faces between your dice and your pool. And once everyone is satisfied with their dice, put your screens up and start the next round. Play continues until one player's health is reduced to zero. Once you're comfortable with the basic rules, you can add characters to the game. During setup, give each player a character board. Your character board determines your starting health and your starting dice pool, and each character has unique abilities that you can use. When you're using characters, the first player token goes to the player with the lowest health. Each character has one ability that requires no dice and can be activated for free once per round. The rest of the abilities say when they can be activated and dice are assigned to those abilities in the same way as the standard game board. 
And that's Kapow. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll answer it as quickly as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.